I always wonder how much you can print on the beer mat. Like Manx of Brewery from Kulmbach, uh, for the Merchant beer, they designed their own beer mat where they tell you that this beer has been in a lager cellar at one degree centigrade and it uses 100% Halatau aroma hops. And they, they even print a lot of, of, of reading material onto uh, their bottles. Uh, they tell you the strength, 5.5, and um, well, they, it's, a, it's a very traditional bottle because this says historic, historical Merzen beer. Merzen beer, of course, is a lager beer, kind of a bit stronger than the traditional lager, uh, but you can see that this uh, also enhances the malt character of the beer. They tell you to swirl the, the, the bottle a little, but you don't want to fill the glass to the top because um, you want to pick up some of the aroma here. Color, golden, uh, quite, quite hazy. Nice white head. I get this, this, this malty aroma, this um, slightly yeasty, because they, they, they really have it in the lager cellar for a long time. So it picks up some of the yeast. Also a little bit of fruit in it, like, like esters. And then a trick with a Merzen beer. Good Merzen beer should be full bodied without being sweet. And that's also one of the keys in brewing here. If you store the beer for a long time at about one degree centigrade, we'll have uh, not so much leftover um, residual sugars. They more, more or less they, they all are uh, converted into alcohol. So this, this gives you uh, a dryish aftertaste. Of course, there's some hoppiness to the beer. They use Halatau hops, but uh, again, it's, it's not a bitter beer. It's, it's a very malty beer that's not sweet, which is uh, uh, kind of difficult to achieve. But you know, the brewmasters and, at Mönchshof, they, they're, they're really very skilled brewers because they uh, have been doing uh, lager beers and export beers for very many decades or even centuries. If you look in Kulmbach, uh, there, there are storage cellars that date back three or four hundred years where beer was stored for the long periods in summer uh, when you couldn't brew beer at the time, but you could drink the beer because it was, they had cold storage long before artificial cooling was invented. But this here it's probably a very good example of how a beer might have tasted 150, 200 years ago. And uh, it also pairs very well with the Franconian food. Like they have something called Frankische Zipfel, which is basically a bratwurst that's uh, boiled in a acidic uh, broth and um, very, very typical for the, uh, for the cuisine there. And uh, of course you drink maybe one or two bottles of this, and not always from these small glasses. I know people in Kulmbach, they can drink really, really a lot because they have healthy food, they're healthy people, and they want to drink to your health, like I do when drinking to your health and hoping we meet again for another Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week next week. Mm. Oh, wonderful. The only thing I miss is the tip for. Huh?